welcome back. Arriving in Mexico for the crucial G20 summit, Prime Minister Manmohan Singh said that the world economy is in deep trouble and hoped that the grouping of developed and developing countries will come up with constructive proposals to pull the world out of this crisis. The two-day summit is meeting against the backdrop of a faltering global economy and a lingering Eurozone crisis which is threatening to affect several countries including India. G20 is a group which is the premier group dealing with international economic cooperation and the world is in deep trouble and I hope the G20 will come up with some constructive proposals to get the world out of this crisis. Moving on, Union Civil Aviation Minister Ajit Singh has said that Air India pilots who are on a strike will be taken back only on a case-to-case -case case basis. Singh also said that the cabinet approved bailout plan is a part of the Dharmadikari report and so the pilots needn't have gone on a strike without any notice. See, there's no now it's been about 40 days. I also in the parliament and outside continuously said that they should come back to work without any preconditions and there'll be no victimization. But now we are now we have reached this now we have reached a stage that I don't think pilots want to come back to work. India is in such a financial mess, they can't pay the pilots, they can't pay the engineers, they can't pay the cabin crew. They haven't paid the oil companies, thousands of crores. They haven't paid the airport authority of India. And when the cabinet approves a 30,000 crore bailout package, when Air India just starts to regain its credibility, they go on a strike without even notice. High Court gave them such a good opportunity, they said illegal strike, they could have come back and talked to us. Forty days have gone by. We have met them again and again and again. They keep changing their conditions. So obviously they don't want to come back to us. Our home loans and car loans aren't becoming any cheaper yet. The Reserve Bank of India went against expectations and left its repo rate and cash reserve ratio unchanged at 8.0% and 4.75%. The markets reacted immediately by going into a slide for the day. This has disappointed the industry that had been calling for a cut in either interest rates or CRR and in some cases, both. The RBI clearly stated that the evolving growth inflation dynamic would continue to influence its decision making. RBI has announced the uh, mid-quarter policy announcements and they are retain the all crucial rates including CRR, repo rate, reverse repo rate, as it was. Perhaps the inflation figures, WPI inflation which is in the month of May, which was 7.56, little more than 7.33, and there has been some marginal uh, increase in CPI also, which might have weighed their decision-making process. And normally, in the mid-quarter review, uh, it is not necessary for the governor to consult the ministry. It's a big disappointment for the markets because even uh, the uh, you know worst case scenario market was expecting that uh, the policy rates would uh, come down by at least 25 basis point and the best case scenario the policy rates would come down by 50 or f more than 50 basis points but uh, nothing has happened obviously uh, the inflation is still uh, which uh, uh, RBI is not sure which way the inflation or they might feel that the inflation in the time to come will go up and that's the reason that uh, they have not reduced the rates. An official in the French consulate in Bangalore accused of raping his three-year-old daughter is likely to be arrested soon, four days after a police case was registered against him. The Ministry of External Affairs has cleared his arrest. The Bangalore police said earlier today that there was confusion on whether the official is entitled to any sort of immunity. They also told that they were checking his diplomat status and could not arrest him till they got a green signal from the Ministry of Home Affairs. Meanwhile, sources in the French government have confirmed that the man accused by his wife of abusing their child does not hold a diplomatic passport, which means he can be arrested and prosecuted in India. Moving on. Close aide to India's social activist Anna Hazare, Manish Sisodia said that the team Anna 
would campaign in the rural areas of the country to raise awareness against the corruption scams of the Congress party-led federal government. While talking to reporters in New Delhi, Shisodia said that Team Anna would aware rural India against corruption scams as village population is the strength of the country. He said that they would be concentrating on the issue of 15 cabinet ministers named in the recent coal scam that also includes the name of the Prime Minister. इस बात को लेके अब हम गांव में जा रहे हैं क्योंकि गांवों की जो बदहाली है उसकी वजह से ये मंत्री ही ये लोग केंद्र में बैठ के गांव के नाम पे योजनाएं बनाते हैं और उसको दिल्ली में बैठ के सारा खा जाते हैं ये बात हम गांव में जाके बताएंगे लोगों को कि क्यों आपके गांव बदहाल है और क्यों इन पंद्रह मंत्रियों के खिलाफ जाँच होना इंडिपेंडेंट जाँच होना जरूरी है क्यों हम पच्चीस जुलाई से इनके खिलाफ जाँच को लेकर अनशन पर बैठ रहे हैं ये बात हम वहाँ बताएंगे और उनसे कहेंगे कि ये लड़ाई अन्ना हजारे की लड़ाई नहीं है ये लड़ाई अरविंद केजरीवाल या मनीष सिसोदे की लड़ाई नहीं है किरण बेदी की लड़ाई नहीं है ये हर ग्रामवासी की लड़ाई है हर देश के हर नागरिक की लड़ाई है ये बात हम कहेंगे पाकिस्तानी एंड इंडियन डेलीगेट्स मेट इन न्यू दिल्ली टुडे एंड डिस्कस द मेजर्स दैट नीड टू बी टेकन टू एमिकेबली रिजॉल्व द इशू रिलेटेड टू सर क्रीक द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द मीटिंग वॉज टू फाइंड अ कॉन्क्रीट सोल्यूशन टू दिस इशू विच एज टाइम एंड अगेन प्रूव टू बी अ टॉन रिलेशन बिटवीन द टू कंट्रीज During the two-day talks, Pakistan is expected to stress on its commitment to resolve the issue, keeping in view the historical perspective and in line with the content and spirit of the 1914 resolution. I think it is too early to make a comment, and I am sure that uh, they came with uh, some kind of open mind. I can say, and we are also prepared to talk to them. I hope we will be able to achieve something this time. The CBI has told the Bombay High Court that its investigations into the Adarsh Society scam are complete and it will file the charge sheet within 10 days. The hearing has been adjourned till July 4th. The CBI was supposed to file it by June 15th but did not do so. All the nine accused in the case have been granted bail as the CBI has failed to file the charge sheet within 60 days of their arrest. आज सोसाइटी ने ऐसी भूमिका ली कि सीबीआई का जूरिस्टेशन नहीं बनता ये केस इन्वेस्टिगेट करने पर जब ऐसी भूमिका ली तब ऑनरेबल जज ने आ, सरकार से पूछा क्या आपका कंसेंट नहीं है क्या सीबीआई बी आई इन्वेस्टिगेशन के लिए अगर नहीं है तो वो राइटिंग में दे दो ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट में रह जाएगा इस तरीके से पहली बात जो हुई है वो वो ऑनरेबल हाईकोर्ट ने स्टेट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र गवर्नमेंट को डायरेक्शन दिया है कि वो आ, उनका कंसेंट नहीं है सीबीआई इन्वेस्टिगेशन को ये लिख के दे दे दस दिन में सीबीआई चार्जशीट फाइल करेगी अगली तारीख चार जुलाई को है नाउ शॉर्ट ब्रेक नाउ स्टे विद अस